honey. I know y'all miss me, honey, because I miss y'all. Come on in this room. Baby, and when you get in here, go on his chair. All right? Y'all been checking in on me, and I appreciate that. But I'm all right. I'm safe in his arms. Thank God. So I said, come on in the room. I come on in the room. Hey, hey, Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my prescriptions. And he brings me all of my medicine in my room. Um, baby, get on in this room, honey. And when you get in here, go on here, share. How y'all doing? Honey, how is y'all doing? Oh, by the grace of God, honey, we all are here in the room. Honey, we say Thank you, Lord. Come on in this room, y'all. Listen, so much has happened. So I will go ahead right now and tell you, tonight's live is going to be a little bit different. Okay? It's going to be a little bit different. So uh, if you don't want to hear uh, me do a little talking about uh, how good God is, even through the storm, baby, don't share. And don't come in the room tonight. Because we're not just cooking tonight. And we talking about, honey, life and the, the precious gift that it is. And everything that God is doing. Okay? So, if you ain't in that mood tonight, I encourage you to maybe watch the basketball game. Do something else. But tonight, baby, it's going to be a different kind of night. Yes, I am in Los Angeles. Hey, Shelly, sing that thing, honey. Hey, Betty, I'm doing good. Hey, Miss Linda, honey. So tonight, y'all, uh, a lot of y'all know I do live in Los Angeles. I live in the Valley. Uh, we are about 15, 20 minutes away um, from the fires. So it's been very uh, smoky. We've had to have limited outdoor uh, um, access, you know, trying not to be outdoors as much because of the fumes and the smoke and um, they've advised us to try to stay in as much as possible um and that is minute okay uh compared to the the people who have lost lives and houses and animals and land and just their life everything people have lost a lot and they're still losing. The fires are still going. Right now, uh, Blackie has to go out, so I got to open the door. But the door, if the winds are so strong right now, it is. If you can imagine how heavy a grapefruit is, okay? Y'all know I got grapefruit trees in my backyard. If you can imagine how uh, heavy a grapefruit is, my grapefruit and my oranges are all on the ground from where the wind has been blowing so hard. It's just blowing them everywhere off the trees. That lets you know how hard uh, the wind is blowing. And because the wind has now picked back up, it's causing the fires to spread even more. So, y'all, please, please be in prayer, okay, um, for this fire situation. All right? Hold you mute. I got to let Blackie out. Hold you mute. All right, Blackie, here you go. Get, in the, get on out there and hurry up and get back in before you get blown away. All right, so I said, um, what better thing to do than to make a little comfort food tonight, right? And maybe give a little laughter along the way, honey, and, and if we uh, choose not to laugh and maybe cry, that might be all right, too. But sometimes all of the above is needed, yes? And sometimes we also got to be reminded that even in this storm, it, too, shall pass, and that God is still good. And he has a reason for everything, right? Yeah, and I believe that. Um, oh, Lee, I'm so sorry, honey. Yes, I know the firefighters just are working tires, like tirelessly. Like it's just, it's so it is it's it is heartbreaking. Okay, it's heartbreaking to to see. It is. So, um, 
I, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that all we have to worry about is, you know, the air, the quality of air. The uh, My daughter's school that she used to go to has been canceled for the week. And now she goes, thank, thank God we moved in closer, um, her school. So now she goes to school right here um, and it's not affected uh, like her other school is. So they, they are closer. Whew, sorry, honey, I'm trying to keep my train of thought right. So anywho, so I figure, honey, what better thing to do? To eat a little comfort food, talk a little bit, uh, tell some stories, have some fun with y'all, uh, and just be reminded that God's still in the miracle business, still in the blessing business, and this thing gonna, gonna be turned around. And I know for the people going through right now, you can't see it. Right now, I know you can't see it. It's hard. I know. Just like everybody else who goes through something. Sometimes when you're in the middle of that storm, you can't see it. And sometimes you're looking, you're looking for the light at the end of the tunnel and you swear for God it's a train. But I promise you it's sunlight. And this too shall pass. Okay? So tonight, um, I thought I had put something in the pan. Y'all ain't put nothing in there. I said, uh, I want some spaghetti. Huh? Had been watching my carbs last week. You know, I was eating raw last week trying to do right where I had ate so bad. And I said, you know what, tonight... Baby, tonight, okay, I'm going to eat me some spaghetti, all right? So, although I am going to use uh, whole grain pasta, this is the bread. My husband actually got me this one. Uh, it's angel hair because I like the little thin noodles. I already put some in there that is uh, warming. Um, and it's, we'll see, whole grain pasta. We're going to see how, how it tastes. Black, are you done out there? And I don't want all that, the leaves and stuff be blowing in the house. I got the screen up. Oh, excuse me, y'all. So I already chopped up a couple mushrooms and a couple peppers. Hold on, let me uh, close this dough. Hold your mute. Hold your mute. All right. So we gonna make a little bit of um, spaghetti with my good old field roast sausage. All right. So this is the Italian flavor. If you never had this one, it's very good. Okay? They all very good. But this is Italian, so I figured since we making spaghetti, uh-huh, then we may as well use the Italian field roast. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot I ain't never finished cutting up this green pepper. Because I got red pepper, green pepper, and some mushrooms. So, let me just chop this up so I can have the rest of it. We're going to saute these first. And then, because this is so quick, y'all, this is the quickest thing to make. You saute these veggies up, and then you cut up your sausage. I'm going to show y'all. For those of y'all who ain't never seen this field roast, wherever you been, honey, welcome. Okay, because Lord know you got to be able to see this field roast. And more than see it, honey, you got to be able to eat that thing. Got to get ready to get it. Get it. It's available almost everywhere now, honey. Walmart, Target, Bonds, Kroger, Whole Foods. Everywhere, honey. Everybody can feel rose. I said, well, honey, I wonder. I wonder if I had anything to do with that. I don't know. Maybe. But anywho, y'all, I got so much to tell y'all. Yeah, listen, let's just start here. As I'm chopping these peppers up. Okay? Um, <laughs> that's right, Angela, honey. This field rose and spaghetti is very good. Let's reflect. Can we just take a moment, y'all, to reflect? That it is Monday. Yes. Um, I actually, today, I, I attended a funeral of one of my best friend's mother. Um, 64 years old, she passed away. And three weeks ago, he buried his father. Her husband uh, died. They died 17 days apart. 17 days apart, both in their 60s. Do we understand how precious life is, y'all? Do we understand how precious life is, y'all? Honey, my friend has lost his mother and father within 17 days of each other. What are you complaining about? What is it you're not doing that you want to do? Why are you holding a grudge? Pick up the phone. Go over there. Cut it out. Honey, you could be here today and gone in seconds not even tomorrow in seconds honey we can be gone 
Life is just that short. Fires are all surrounding us. People are dying every day. What are you upset about? What are you holding on to, honey, that you can let go of to give yourself some freedom? Don't wait till it's too late to where you can't tell that person something, say what you really feel, forgive, let go, release that thing. Life is short, 17 days apart. Today is Monday. Just last week I was in North Carolina because my daddy had three strokes. It could have went a whole nother way. I thank God that he had a miraculous recovery. Yes, I thank God for that. But the, the point is, it still happened. Things could have went a different way. I thank God that I talk to my daddy almost every day, if not every day. I tell him constantly how much I love him, how much I need him and adore him, how much I, I'm just thankful for him. Don't let time go by without saying the things that you want to say. Don't let the time go by, I tell him later, or I'll go see him later, or I'll check in on that person later. No. Do it. Why are you waiting? Are you that busy? Don't you... Don't you want to be checked on? Don't you want somebody to check in on you? It's, it's, it's literally just that simple. Life is just too short, y'all. It is. It's just too short and too precious. It's a gift. It's a gift. So, I, I'm just saying that as people, y'all, we just got to do better with love. It begins with love and it ends with love. There's no in-between when it comes to love. Love is love. You don't love somebody a little bit. You don't love them a whole lot. You just, you love them. And if you love them, forgive them. Tell them. Release that thing. So you can love you. Because, you know, when we hold stuff and we don't do stuff, honey, the only person that we messing up is ourselves. That's the only person that we hurting. That's the only person that we hurting is ourselves. Okay? Yes. Hold your mule. Turn these noodles down that my husband got because I'm going to let them simmer. Okay? So here are, I know in the midst of cooking tonight, I might throw a little something in there. And I can do that if I want to because it's my business. And I've already given the full warning. Honey, if you don't want to hear what I got to say, tonight ain't your night to watch. All right? Very good. So, this is the Italian sausage. This is how it looks when it come out the pack, just like that. You can cut them uh, with scissors, if, you know, like right here in the middle and save some if you want to eat some later. But, of course, you know, I ain't going to save nothing for later, honey. All of this is going to get chopped up tonight. I actually bought two packs because we all eating this, everybody in the family. Yes? Um, that's right, Emily. That's right, honey. See, and listen, I, one of my girlfriends said this the other day, you know, she still is blessed to have her mother and her father. If you have your mother and your father, do you know how blessed that you are? Maybe, maybe they get on your nerves. Maybe you get on theirs. Maybe y'all ain't the best or closest. So what? So what? Let it go. Because let me tell you, let me tell you, you think you ain't close now? You think you think you ain't close now? Honey, if they get gone, you ain't gonna get no closer. Honey, if they get gone, honey, if the Lord see fit to take them on away from here, you can't rekindle then. You think y'all ain't close now? What I'm saying is, don't don't let things happen that you you can't fix. Honey, because once folk are gone, honey, it ain't no time to fix it. And then you live with regret and pain and sorrow. And you grieve a different type of grief that nobody can, but God, can heal or fix. Everybody got problems. Everybody. Everybody got problems. I'm just making this sausage as I talk. Sometimes we got to do that. But when you have both of your parents, one of your parents... Somebody that might not be your parent, but treated you as such. Honey, you are blessed. 
You are blessed. You got your siblings. You are blessed. Cut out the foolishness. Somebody got to be the bigger person. I know you say, I'm, I'm, the one, I, I'm the one that always got to be the bigger person. I'm tired of being the bigger person. So what? Do you want peace or do you want peace? Do you want peace or do you want peace, honey? I, listen, I don't know. You know, I, I had told my husband, I said, you know, I, I need to go live. We had been doing so much and uh, I just hadn't been uh, able and not necessarily in the, in the very mood. Because, you know, I like to come on here and cut up and we have fun. But I, I prayed and God said, no, tonight the people need to hear from you. Um, and whoever posted here will. And y'all know I, I don't try to uh, preach, but I just try to share. I ain't nobody preaching, okay? But I feel like we all have uh, something that lives inside of us that's supposed to come out. And so whenever I say things, I didn't know it's from my heart. And it's what... God has told me to share and that I live a life of obedience. And that's why I'm sharing. So whoever I'm talking to tonight, I hope and pray that you're hearing it. Um, and that you're getting it. And that it does something for you. Whew. Patrick, I most certainly have had my greens today. Thank you for asking. We'll have a little bit more tonight. <laughs> um, Shara Thomas, honey, I know you get tired. Honey, being a bigger person can be tiring. And it's okay to say, I'm tired. It's okay to be tired. But honey, ain't nothing like having a peace of mind. Ain't, listen, because when I tell you, when things that are tragic happen, honey, you be wishing for one more day to be tired. God, I just wish they was here one more day so I could be tired of they mess. Ooh, y'all, can y'all see me? I'm sorry, I forgot. Look, that's how you know I ain't, I, I'm out of it. I ain't put my phone on Do Not Disturb. But that, and that was the school system calling. They may have canceled the school for tomorrow. Um, But what I was saying was, yeah, I don't know if you got, if you caught that or not, but uh, I know you get tired of saying, you know, I, you get tired. But what I was saying was, I and mean, when folk be gone, you be wishing for one more day for somebody to get on your Oh, God, I just wish they was here one more day to get on my nerves, God. I just wish that they was here that I could just hear their voice, God, even though they used to work your nerve and you be tired. But when they gone, baby, they, they gone. And then it's a whole new tired that sits in. Tired of that heartache. Tired of a different type of pain. And you don't want to live with that. Okay? Oh, Lord have mercy, y'all. So if you just tuned in to the room, welcome. I, I gave a disclaimer early, and I said tonight going to be a different kind of night. Well, it is. But we also make it a little comfort food. We're going to make some, some spaghetti with some Fioro Italian sausage. It's Italy, Italian. Yeah. Going to make a little bit of that. And with some whole grain um, noodles, angel hair. Hold on, let me wash my hands. Hold your beauty. Hold your beauty. Oh, you're you. Honey, today. Oh, oh, you mute. Hold on. Let me make sure my, these noodles is all right. Because I, I don't want them to get sticky together, okay? Turn them off. Can't have no noodles sticking together, honey. Not, not how I'm feeling. I want to eat good, okay? Um, so here we are. That's the field roast on the top, because I'm going to saute it all together with the peppers. Y'all, do y'all know I forgot my onion today? I thought I had some, but I ain't got no more. So I'm going to have to use these tonight. I'm going to have to use these little chopped onions. It'll be all right. I love a fresh onion. But look, you know them fresh onions give me the crying in here, but it's one of them nice that that might happen anyway. Okay? Um... Oh, how oh how did I cut it? I just cut the sausage with a knife. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, look, I ain't even got my box out. Listen, forgive me, because tonight, I'm a little out of it, I, I must say, okay? So, anywho, uh, let us pray right now over this before we throw it on over in there. All right? Yes. Uh, God, 
Lord, we just come to you first of all saying, God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for another opportunity to be in this here room, Lord. Thank you for everybody watching, God. Lord, we just thank you for safety right now, God, for your mercy, God. We know that there's so many tragedies going on in the world, God, but we just we say thank you in advance because we know that after this storm, Lord, will come a beautiful rainbow, God. We we believe and we know, Lord. So we just thank you in advance, God. I, I pray for all the people that are hurting right now, all the people that are watching that are in pain right now, God. I just pray for everyone, God. I pray for the souls, Lord, that are just lost in the world, Lord, that they feel the emptiness, God. I pray that you can feel them, Lord. Lord, but right now, I just say a special prayer for all the people surrounding this area, Lord, that are dealing with the fires, God. Please just wrap your arms around them, Lord. Comfort them, Lord, in their loss, God. And Lord, any way that I can help, Lord, please continue to use me, God. And these things I ask in your name. Amen. Amen, Lord. I'm going to put these on in the uh, oven, okay? Uh, or, not the oven. Y'all Y'all see that your girl... Honey, I said I'm gonna put them in the oven. Y'all know what I'm talking about the stove. I'm gonna put them in the pan, honey. Gonna put them in the pan. We're gonna put them in the pan. And I usually have uh, my avocado oil and honey ran out of that, but I still got this olive oil for where I made my salad. I about to put this on in here. Sometimes I try not to cook that much with olive oil as much as I used to. I try to use avocado oil or grapeseed oil because sometimes. Um, too much of olive oil, they say, can be a little bit unhealthy for you, but I still like it, okay? But, you know, I, I'm going to saute this stuff right on up. Hold your mule, and we're going to all see it together, okay? Don't that... Did y'all see this fly that came in here? Did he get... Did he get blue in here? Did y'all see a fly? I did. I saw one. But it's all right. I'm going to get him. Honey, let me cover up my, um, my noodles over there. Hold, hold, hold your mule. Hold your mule. Okay. So, real quick, I'm going to throw a little bit of garlic powder. Okay? Honey, Randy, we need all kinds of prayers. That's right. For the world. Honey, our world is so lost right now. It's it's in pain. It's suffering. Oh, Lord, I feel it. Y'all, Do y'all feel pain or is that just me? I'm telling you, I feel pain of the world and of people. When people are hurting, it saddens my heart. It's like I feel the pain of, of, of other people. I don't know, you know, if everybody does that, but I feel that and that it, it it, it hurts my heart, but then at the same time, I say, well, God, let me bring some light. Let me bring some laughter to somebody. So, and a little bit of hope. Yes. So, here we are. A little bit of chopped onion, okay? Show the package of the sausage again. Here you go, because I got, I had another one just in case I needed it. This is it. It's backwards, but it says field rose, and this is the Italian. Uh-huh. See that? Field rose. Italian, vegan, meatless sausage, all grain, soy free. For those of you that have soy allergies or don't uh, consume soy, um, there you are. And then I'm going to put a little bit of rub sage because this is my business and I just want to put a little bit. No particular reason, just because I want to. Put a little bit of that and then my all purpose, like a multi seasoning. Uh, and this one is salt free by Miss Lady V. Yes, put that in there because it ain't no salt. Those of y'all that know, I don't really like to cook with salt. So, when you don't cook with salt, honey, you can put as much seasoning and stuff as you want to because ain't no salt. It's just a whole bunch of herbs. See that? You, do you smell it? Smell it. Smell right fresh, don't it? Mmm. Smell like going to be good. Yeah. So, let me... Here we are. See if my stove going to light up or if it needs some assistance tonight. So let me light it up. Don't get brand new on me. Ain't nothing changed yet, honey. Ain't nothing changed yet. I'm not tired yet. Y'all know that one? Yes. Okay. Where my where where my uh? Okay. Here we are. The infamous. Y'all. Th oh, y'all thought that somebody had a. Oh, y'all thought somebody had a new spoon, a new cooking favorite. Don't look. Y'all see this? That's a battle wound, honey. In the in the stove, honey. That's that's a battle wound. Honey, when you have stuff like this, you can't, this is a, 
If you look close, she got a purple heart. Honey, this baby done been through, okay? Done saved many dinners. Yeah. And this is Sister Soldier right here. Yeah, I use her. But I take her wherever I go. Uh-huh. So we're going to leave her right there. And I'm going to let these start to cook on down a little bit. Now, what I like to do with the Fieros, okay? Um, when you have your veggies and stuff in there, too, Smooth it out so that each field rose piece, if you if your pot is big enough, are laying on the bottom so they can get a little crispy. And then when you start flipping around, you know at least one side's got a little bit of crunch to it. Okay? Yeah? Victor, yeah, I let Blackie in. Honey, Blackie laid right here on the floor sleep. Excuse me, Chores. Hey, girl. I just put it over there because I know you can't. It ain't even red. I just put I know. It I was here. just looking at it. Hello. What you want to tell the people? Hey. Hey. People, trust me, people are hurting tonight with all the things that are happening. Y'all, even, you know, we also had a terrible shooting last week. Thousand, in Thousand Oaks. Oaks, just in the same area as the fire. It's just, Thousand Oaks <sighs> is going through it. it. It's this whole area, the world. But yeah, I know. I, I've seen it. I, I'm going to get them in a minute. My mama hurts. But choice, so maybe the people can use a sprinkle tonight. Okay, you think? later. Later? Okay, girl. I'm hungry. Honey, what, you hungry? Eat some grapes. I bought some grapes. Mm -hmm. Put some grapes in there. Rinse them off, girl, and eat you some. Hold your meal. I'm going to bring you over here to say I'm just trying to smooth these out. Make sure that they're getting cooked up the right way. Yes? And I'm going to bring y'all over here to see. I'm going to put it just a little bit. Um. Oh, Erica, yes, that Chipotle feel roast. Very good. Hold your meal. Just a little. So, um, Bobby Tillis teach her how to cook, honey. She know, she know how to cook. She do right. She do all right. She do all right. But she be learning. She be in the kitchen and stuff. But honey, she's a eater. Okay, she's a eater. Love to eat. Yeah. See that eating. Love to eat. Um. So, look towards you getting. Uh, Thank you. How far am I? Well, from uh, from Thousand Oaks, where the shooting about maybe like 20, 25, not even yet, about 20 minutes. And then the, the fire is about the same 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's all kind of like in the same area, unfortunately. Uh, honey, ain't she, ain't she a mess? She said she's going to give y'all a sprinkle in a little bit. Okay. She had to get her, get her little uh, grape fix. Okay. So, um,. Maria, I don't know. Is is that just your phone? Is anybody else not able to hear me? Maria said the audio is bad. Can y'all hear me? Can everybody hear me just fine? Yes. Maria, maybe you got to go out and come back in, honey. Um. Oh, okay, great. So, anywho, y'all. <laughs> I want to tell y'all because why that's cooking, okay? Let me tell y'all something. So, most of y'all know my story, right? And for those of you who don't, I try to make it short and, and bring it back up full, full circle. Uh, because I, I want y'all to know that even during a storm, how God gonna still show up and turn your life around, okay? Uh, last year, most as most of you know, um, I had been on disability for a year, unemployment, uh, had not worked in over a year, almost two years, uh, was very sick. Um, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. Um, just so much was happening. I was depressed. Uh, major anxiety. So so many things, you name it, honey, I was dealing, dealing with it. Um, and I used to have really long, straight hair. I used to have really long, straight hair because that's what Hollywood told me that, 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 that they wanted, right? That's what everybody said. Oh, you're supposed to have long, straight hair with your complexion and you, you need to cover your accent. Nobody want to hear the southern accent. So, I did all those things for, for many years. Uh, 
pursue my acting career. And um, then as I got sick and was not able to go out and audition or work, or and I used to do stand-up, wasn't able to go out and do stand-up anymore because doing stand-up in Hollywood is kind of how folks get TV shows. So, honey, I was like, well, let me go out and, 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 and do the stand-up, right? And so... Um, as I wasn't able to do those things anymore from being sick, uh, I really fell hard into depression as well. And then I had a dream. And I saw myself with a little short hairstyle. A little afro-like, but a little short natural. And I, was, and I was on a TV show. And I woke up and I was like, wait a minute, Lord. Now... How, how did I have a TV show um, and I haven't even been auditioning? I haven't even been able to work. I'm not doing stand-up anymore. And um, I heard a voice that say, start doing videos. And I said, start doing videos. Now, mind you, as an actress, okay, I came from doing theater and then, would do, you know, movies, a little bit of TV. I was, I was slightly offended, let's be honest. I said, do videos. <laughs> I'm at that spin. Why would I do videos? You know, that's when you think, you, you, you know, your, your, your pee don't stink, right? And I heard the voice clear. Start doing videos. And then as I started, you know, just thinking and praying on that in that moment, I heard God say, listen, when you was out doing stand-up, you was reaching maybe 15, 30 people a night, Okay. You start doing videos, you reach thousands in minutes. And I said, well, Lord, listen, I don't know uh, if that's you up there talking to me. But I don't know if you check my social media because I ain't got thousands to reach in minutes, right? Voice, again, start doing videos. And so I started by saying, okay, first I'm going to be obedient. So I, I, I got to do video, but what in the world am I going to do videos about? So I first started doing videos when my hair was long and straight, sitting on my bed as a sit-down comedian. I said, I'm going to just tell stories that I used to tell on stage. I don't know. What, what am I doing, Lord? And um, as time went on, after that, I ended up watching What the Hell after my daughter came home and said, Mom, you need to see this documentary. And then uh, right before then, I decided I'm going to shave all my hair off. Shaved all my hair off and uh, got rid of that long hair because it a, was long and heavy. Uh, I have a terrible neck. And I... Uh, I believe the hair holds energy, and that hair held a lot of old and negative energy, so I shaved it all off. Then we watched What the Health, and I decided to go on the vegan journey, and uh, it was a, start off as a 30-day challenge. And on day 29, my husband was like, this has been great, but tomorrow I'm going to need a piece of chicken. And I said, no, not me. I think this is, this is my way. This is my path, right? And um, during that time, okay, I'm still not working and I'm not making any money, but I'm still being obedient. So when I decided to go vegan, I then heard the same voice that told me to do videos that said, now tell people what you're eating. Now tell people what you're eating. Hold your mute. Hold that thought and hold your mute. Let me flip my stuff around for we can't eat none of this tonight. Do y'all smell it? I'm going to let y'all see it. Hold your mute. Let me let y'all see it. Thank you, Danielle, girl. You know I know about that food. Yeah, look, I know y'all be worried about that food burning, but honey, y'all ain't learned by now that God be covering the food, too. I know this stove. I know it. Um, but it is singing because that oil is in there. But it's on like four and a half. It's, 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 it's slow burning. Uh, so God said, tell, now tell people what you're eating. And I said, now wait a minute, God. Um, excuse me. I have a shaved off all my hair. I'm from North Carolina. And now I ain't going to eat no more meat. I'm going vegan. You want me to get on here and start videos telling people what I'm eating people gonna say that girl has finally lost her mind I I, I, I don't know Lord I, I don't know if this is a good idea tell people what you're eating 
And because I live a life of obedience, I said, all right, I'm going to tell people what I mean. And so around that same time, in the 30-day uh, vegan challenge, my husband and I, we sat outside in our backyard last year, August 22nd, 2017. If you can see all these things on here. And we made a, a list. This is my list. He had his list. And we said we will uh, make a list of all the things that we're believing in God for and what we want for ourselves. Now, I want you to listen clear, all right? I want you to hear me when I say this. I wrote this last August 22nd, 2017, uh, after being on disability for over a year and on unemployment, making $400 barely a week, uh, which in some places that, that's good money for some people. Out here, honey, that barely pays my light bill, okay? And, and, and that's just honesty. That's just honesty. Lord, that fly. Um, but, and I had no money in my bank account. No money in my bank account. I had, uh, and I say no money because I had uh, $380 in there, but my car payment it was three sixty five, dollars so that had to be paid. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. No savings, none of that. Because I've been on disability for a year. I had used up all my savings, and I had used up everything I could to survive. Um, but we said, let's make a list. And so my list says, uh, I, I, I'm not going to go over everything, but I want to I wanna share a couple with you that are important. Number two was I wanted to book a national commercial before the end of the year, okay, before the end of December. And as an actor, we, most times, honey, that's how we make our living. When we, we book a commercial and that commercial plays, honey, we get paid on residuals. Every time it, every time it plays, we get a check. You know, that's how we survive. And so I was like, Lord, I know if I can book a commercial, I can, you know, make, make me some money. I, I don't know, Lord, how I'm going to do this because I ain't auditioning, but maybe I can get back out there for the end of the year because this is August, right? Um, I also said, Lord, I want to pay off all my debt. I, I want to be debt-free, and I want to be able to have a savings with my husband. Uh, get back into acting. These are, these are all the things I said. Uh, I, I had a little cape. You know, I make waist capes for women. I said, Lord, I need to at least sell five capes per month, okay? Uh, number nine, it, it, these are small things. I said, Lord, I don't want to be, I, I don't want to ask for too much. These were small things. I said, Lord, I don't want to ask for too much. And then I said, Lord, I, I would like to purchase a home in 2018. But listen, I ain't had no job, okay? I ain't got no job. I ain't had no money. But these are just things I said, I, I believe in God, so I'm, I'm going to just put down what I, what I want. I want to purchase a home in 2018, I would like a, a a network TV show. I want to be on a TV show with beginning of longevity. Okay, God, I, I want to meet a powerful mentor who can help me with my career. I want to find a new manager that can take my career to the next level. I want to stay healthy by eating right and staying active. I want to stay focused on my goals. I want three or more sources of income. I want to retire my husband in five to eight years if he wants to stop working. A lot of you don't know that my husband is a police officer. He has to uh, wear a, a bulletproof vest to work every day, and that makes me uncomfortable. And if I can take him out of debt and allow him to do something to live his dream, that is what I'm going to do. Yes? Uh, then I said I want to start back doing stand-up. I want to create my own show. But number 20, I said I want to uh, believe that I am healthy. Because remember, I had came off a disability. But this is important. I said, I want to believe that I am healthy no matter what. God changed my mind, changed my way of thinking. Because, listen, when you've been down for a long time, your mind will trick you to, to make you think that there is no coming back up. Okay? Uh, and then, number 21, I said, I don't know how this is going to work, God, but I need $10,000 um, before the end of the year. I put December 31st. 2017. I don't know if you can see that. 
because I was thinking, Lord, the holidays and everything, Lord, I, I, I need to catch up. I need, I need. Honey, everything on this list that I just read to you. I, I said book a national commercial. Well, I didn't book a national commercial on TV, but I've done over 15 campaigns on social media this year. I've done over, I don't, I don't know if you heard me, I've done over 15 campaigns with companies from Whole Foods to Field Roads to like I've done so many videos that have paid me more than a national, than this one national commercial I was asking God for. I was asking for one national commercial, okay? Uh, I said, pay off my debt. I don't know if y'all remember or not, but I paid my car off earlier this year. Okay, I didn't have a job, y'all. I, I don't think y'all understand it. I wrote this and I didn't have a job. I was on disability. I was on disability for a year. I, I had no savings. I said, I said, God, I want to sell at least five capes per month. See, this is how small, sometimes we, we get into a small mentality of way of thinking, right? I turn it off to make some of y'all comfortable so y'all can hear this. <clears throat> I said, God, I want to sell five capes per month. God put a t-shirt business in my life. Well, I've sold over a thousand t-shirts. I never wanted, I, I never wanted to sell a t-shirt. I was just selling my capes. I said, I said, I want to meet powerful mentors and a new uh, manager that can help take my career to the next level. Honey, my 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 manager just won an Emmy. Are y'all? Listen, I I just wrote it down. I, I just wrote it down. I said, God, I want to stay healthy by eating right and staying active. I want to stay focused on my goals. I, I need three or more sources of income. Honey, all, all of this, I, I wrote all of this with no job, with no, with no money. This is just me saying, God, I got faith, God. You can do all things, God. Lord, I'm desperate, God. I'm desperate, Lord. I need you, okay? Yo. I don't know if you can see this. That's it. Capitol Hill escrow. Me and my husband just bought a house. We just bought a house. I didn't have nothing last year. We just bought a house. We just bought a house, y'all. Through all this stuff that's going on, I said, Lord, I don't want to share because people are losing their homes right now, God. People are losing their lives. That people are hurting, God. I said I can't share this blessing right now, God. He said, No, you you got to share this because you you was in the storm, Tab. You was in the storm and you believed and you wrote it down and you had faith that even through your storm you was gonna come through. And I didn't come through. He came through. Y'all, listen. I had nothing but faith. I said, God, I just. I, I need you, Lord. I, I need to be able to... I, I, just give me the pen, Lord. Just tell me what to write. Just tell me what to write. And, and I'm going to write it. And I'm going to believe in it. And every day, I would look at this and I would say, Lord, I don't know how, how it's going to happen. I was driving Uber. Y'all, I was driving Uber. I was driving Uber. In November, and he said, I was driving Uber when I made the video for the TTLA. Because I was being obedient. I was being humble. I was, I was serving. I said, God, whatever you want me to do, Lord. I didn't, know, I didn't know what was to come. I didn't know what was to come. But I just said, Lord, I, I trust you. Now, I'm developing a show. Y'all listen, whatever it is you're going through, I promise you, it's going to get better. I know that it hurts. 
I feel your pain. But if I can't do nothing but tell you, he is faithful. He honors your struggle. He honors your work. He honors your faith in him. I promise you, if you just keep on going, baby, if you just keep on moving, I know, I know sometimes it's hard to wake up. I know sometimes you don't want to get out the bed. I know sometimes you're like, Lord, I can't even breathe. God, I know because I've been there. I know even with this house, I was scared. I said, Lord, I don't know because this is a lot of money. I don't know. Lord, it's an old house and I don't even care because it's, it's ours. I, how many days did we go live in this kitchen, y'all? And I said, I'm renting, but one day I'm going to buy a house. I said it with y'all. Listen, if you just can wrap your mind around the thought of, yes, God can. If I do my part, if I keep moving forward, look, don't you give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. When I tell you, if you just keep moving, you just keep moving, honey, and make spaghetti sometime in the kitchen with your friends and tell them about how good God is. Honey, drink a little bit of wine if you need to to get through the night. But I promise you, y'all, oh, if you just keep on moving, don't you give up. Don't you give up. Send me a message. Honey, in that moment where you're like a tab, I can't take it no more. Honey, send me a message. I always pray. I say, God, when I open my inbox, I want you to take me to the message I need to see. And I promise you, I'll pray with you. I promise I'll send you an encouraging word. I'll send you a video. But I, I, I just want you to know you can't give up. You can't give up. The storm is meant to replenish. Do you understand the storm is meant to replenish? Honey, when the rain comes, honey, it makes the grass green again. Honey, the, the storm is meant to replenish, okay? Whew. Whew. I had to share that with y'all because I know, I know it gets hard. I know it gets hard. And I know it feels like your time ain't never going to come. I've been waiting a long time. I've been waiting a long time. Tab, mine ain't happening. You lucky, Tab, I ain't lucky. No, I done been through a whole lot too. I'm blessed. <sighs> Hold on. Don't you give up. I gotta put the spaghetti sauce. Whew. I gotta put the spaghetti sauce in there. Excuse me, y'all. I love y'all. Sometimes we got to just encourage each other. Listen, honey, I'm going to have to do a whole lot of work for this house. It's an old house. It's expensive to try to get it right. And I don't care. I, if it take a whole year, I don't care. Okay? You don't have to get all the pieces to the puzzle if you get one piece. If you get one piece. If you get one piece, if God show you one piece of the puzzle that you envision it, if he give you one piece, that means he intends to put the puzzle together, baby. That means he gave you the first piece. Focus on that piece. Focus on that piece, oh God. And for me, my piece was this. He gave me the notebook, the pen. I was able to write it down. 